Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to take a quick look here at Immortals of Avium. We've got the new FSR 3 release. So uh, that's one of the games that has it out right now. And uh, I was just on YouTube looking at uh, Daniel Owen going through some of the things. And I just wanted to take a quick look for myself. Uh, so let's get into that. So a couple things that Daniel brought up in his video had to do with VSync and variable refresh. I do have a variable refresh rate monitor, but I have it turned off to record this gameplay just because I find it works a little bit better. Um, but let's take a look at what we've got here in our graphic settings. 1440p, we've got DLSS and frame generation turned on right now. We're also on all ultra settings. So why don't we start it up this way? I'm gonna go into, I don't know where I am in the game, but I'm sure we're somewhere, it should be interesting at least. Okay. Boy, whatever settings these are, this looks blurry. <laughs> this feels like pretty smooth, but it looks blurry. So let's see, let's go real quick to, let's just get a baseline. Let's turn off all of this stuff. No DLSS, no NVIDIA Reflex, uh, no VSync, no FSR, uh, FSR3. Okay, so it looks like here in this little area We're oddly getting like around 60 FPS, which just seems a little bit odd to me. And it feels like pretty smooth. Uh, little frame hitches here and there, but it seems all right. Now, let's try DLSS quality frame generation off. Okay, here we go. We're starting to get some more settings that make a little bit more sense here. And our latency, average PC late. I don't know whether we can take these latency numbers from the NVIDIA overlay as gospel. I really don't know if we can. Um, but I can say this feels good. Like, this feels better than when I launched the game. Um, this feels, and it looks pretty good. It just looks, it looks a little bit soft. The whole game look, has looked a little bit soft since I launched it. Our, our average PC latency according to the NVIDIA performance overlay were around between 35 to 45 milliseconds. So let's turn on, let's turn on frame generation here. This is NVIDIA, we're in NVIDIA stuff right now. Okay, and now we're up to in the over 100. So um, I think when I first launched the game, when I was around 60, there was some, there was some, some settings were not being applied properly. So now, and we're also only getting, with these settings, we're only getting a minor, maybe 10 to 15% increase in our average PC latency according to the NVIDIA performance overlay. Um, so that seems like that seems like a pretty good deal, and we're getting about twice the uh, perceived frames from native resolution. So that's good. We like that. <laughs> I like some of these. I like some of these things here. So cool. That that seems quite good. Let's just take a close look at this guy. Everything's good. The game looks kind of soft. Is the only thing, is the only thing I can say overall. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. Let's turn off all this stuff and go over to AMD FSR three quality. So remember in in, in uh, NVIDIA DLSS quality, we're getting about 80-ish uh, frames per second. 
So let's try FSR3. Okay. Immediately, I have to say, I'm noticing a much more of a sharpening filter being applied here, just right away. And I'm not going to even say that's a good thing. I have noted that it looked soft before. Um, and now I see there's some sharpening being applied by AMD's upscaling. And I don't know if I love this. I don't know if this is, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to say this is better than having it look a little bit soft because it looks a little bit over sharpened to me now. And, uh, but we also see this seems to be a little bit less latency according to NVIDIA performance overlay than it was with DLSS without frame generation, without FSS, uh, DLSS 3. So let's move up. To turn on frame generation. Oh, I have to restart the game to do this. So let's do that. And we will be right back. Okay, I think I think we're back here. Ah, yes. So the telltale sign that I've heard is that whatever overlay you have is going to ha report uh, like a solid bar, which you see up there in the upper left where the frame time graph is, it has some weird reporting with these overlays. So that apparently is normal behavior. So let's get back in here. Frames all over the place. Okay, we're back in here. So let's go back outside. Okay, what do we see? First of all, it appears to me that we're getting more, uh, we're generating even more frames in DLSS 3. Interesting. Okay. Is it, hmm. Now this is something that Daniel Owen was talking about. He said that even with it on, even though it was uh, reporting that frames were being generated, and I'm seeing that here, I'm seeing a lot of frames being generated. Oh, you know, over 130. Uh, this seems to be. And let's just double check our settings real quick. Let's just double check. Okay. I interestingly, reflex is on. That's fine. FSR3 quality and frame generation are on. And we've got like our ultra settings. Okay. So Daniel Owen said that it didn't feel super smooth to him. And the reason for that was when he would kick on frame generation FSR 3, it would kick off his variable refresh rate on his display. So whatever gains he was getting from frame generation, he was losing by not having variable refresh rate enabled. So this, to me, I can understand what he's kind of saying. It kind of feels a little bit hitchy and bumpy to me. Um, what he did now, unfortunately, I have a couple of variables that uh, Daniel didn't uh, doesn't have to deal with. I have a 240 hertz display, so achieving 240 hertz is probably going to be out of the question as far as matching my monitor's native refresh rate. Also, Daniel has a 4090, <laughs> and I have a. Uh, 4070 Ti, as we all know and love. But let's try, let's turn on VSync and see what happens. Okay, 
this even though I'm even though I'm not able to hit my monitor's native refresh rate, turning on VSync has smoothed this out. Has really smoothed this out. <laughs> in an interesting way it's such a, you know it's such a subtle thing it's such a, a, a it's such a subtle little difference but it just feels so much smoother with vsync on even though you know, my frames aren't really being locked to, to anything in particular. Our average PC latency, according to the performance overlay, is around 50. This does not feel laggy to me at all. It feels quite good. Let's do, we'll do a couple more tests. Let's see if, well, hopefully I don't have to like turn this off or hopefully I don't have to restart in order to use DLSS again. All right, I do. That's a, <laughs> that, that's a pain in the butt. We're gonna do a, a quick test here. While we're in FSR3 with frame generation, let's get right up close to this guy and see if we can do, do a little bit of a comparison here. Uh, where can we line up? Okay, we're back in the game and I'm noticing that we are back and it doesn't appear that my settings have been applied. So right now, I don't believe frames are being generated. I don't even know if DLSS is on. So when I toggle these, this is after a restart. I think when I toggle these, I'm gonna get way different stuff happening. Yep, yeah. So even though those settings said they were on, they were not on. Uh, just something to keep an eye out for. Definitely looks softer than AMD to my eye, not side by side right at this very moment. So let's go back to our guy over here. And I'll, I'll try to get close to where I was. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where I was. Um, we do, it looks like we are exhibiting a little bit less latency with DLSS 3 but it's really marginal it might be like 10 percent 5 to 10 percent I would say and just for an equal comparison let's turn on we can oh we can't even turn on vsync at all with DLSS so that that's interesting so here we are we're going to take a quick just a quick look side by side at these images we've got FSR on the right, DLSS on the left. A couple quick things to look at. First of all, uh, the frame rates are nearly identical. 132 for FSR, 129 for DLSS. However, the 1% lows, as noted in the performance overlay as 99% FPS, same thing as 1% lows. 60 to 107, that's quite a substantial difference, but we are going to have to do more testing and find out what that's all about. We have to remember that we did have VSync enabled on FSR in order to get the smoothest perceived experience out of it. Um, obviously, more testing needs to be done with that as well. So, uh, average latency, 47.6 to 39.5, 5 to 10% difference, it appeared at most times. That, that's not too big of a deal. It, they both felt all right. Um, utilizations are slightly different, but seems to be, could be within margin of error um, or just at the given time of that reading. Um, so let's take a closer look. I did note before that I felt that there was more sharpening being applied to, with the FSR. And I think that does come across here. If you look at, especially in the areas where there should be um, a bit more contrast, you can almost see uh, down 
to the pixels. You can almost see the mask, the sharpening mask in the FSR image. At the same time, well, first of all, let's take a look at the same spot in the NVIDIA image. It's much harder to see that sort of sharpening mask. It looks much more uniform, and I think that creates a much more stable looking image, or a less, I, maybe not stable, it might not be the right word, but it, uh, the DLSS image doesn't look over sharpened because that sharpened mask is less perceivable. And an interesting difference also is in sort of how the sharpening is uh, utilizing contrast. I feel that the DLSS image sort of has a lot more contrast going on, which is giving uh, all of the various elements a little bit more definition. So this seems, even though it's more sharpened and has a more intense sharpening mask effect to it, it uh, doesn't look as defined as the DLSS image. So, you know, <laughs> these are just some quick takeaways looking at this uh, for the very first time. There's going to have to be a lot more testing. Uh, and so I think that's probably going to be it for this video. Thanks to Daniel Owen for the inspiration. I do love his, his channel. So check him out. And uh, yeah, we're, we're probably going to take another look at this game and Forspoken, do some more tests, some more side-by-side -side stuff. So, uh, oh, and I was told to say, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that very much. And I'll see you all next time.